On the clock, Gabby is yeah. learning her dance. Like the there you go. Don't think so that little footwork. Yeah. I see you. Down Saying for drop the mic. This is our backup dancer. Say hi. Hey. And obviously Andrew. Hey baby. Hi, Gabby's vlog. <laughs> he face tuned one of my pictures for me today. Bruno Mars is rehearsing like right here. Let's see if he's I just realized I haven't washed my hair in 22 days. I'm so beyond creeped out okay so mtv i did a show for mtv and in it i'm telling this story from uh this frat that i used to hang out with my hands are uh, i'll talk about this in a second i'm telling this story from something that happened in college with this frat oh my god look at this little shopping cart in the background i didn't even notice that <gasps> i want that anyways i'm telling this story about delta kai and this kid texts me, as I'm watching it, the notification pops up right here, texts me from Delta Kai, who I have not talked to in when I say like two years, I haven't talked to this kid in two years and he texts me as I'm watching this preview from this clip from MTV where I'm talking about Delta Kai. Also, ready for this, it gets worse. See the color nail polish I'm wearing? I'm going to the party. Yellow. How often do I wear a yellow nail polish? That was it. That was the only time I've ever worn na yellow nail polish in my life, pretty much. I just got back from Rite Aid, and I just bought yellow nail polish, because I was like, hmm, I haven't worn yellow nail polish in a long ass time. Let me get some. Then, it gets better. I, yesterday, yesterday, just bought Lucky Charms. I, can honestly say I have not bought Lucky Charms or even eaten Lucky Charms in mm, three years. Three, because I haven't had Lucky Charms since I lived in Cleveland. I'm scared. Let's talk about my hand now. I woke up this morning and I wanted to rehearse before I go to rehearsal for practice. Rehearsal for practice. Rehearsal for tour. By the way, if, you, if you're not coming to tour, then I'll leave the ticket link in the description below. Huge nail polish spot on my carpet. I Google immediately how to get rid of it. It was this big. Now it's this big. Um, tried hairspray, tried nail polish remover. Nothing's working. This is like this is the most staining color you can possibly have like look at my hands even my nails are blue from it So I mean 
it was the worst possible color that I could have possibly gotten on my carpet but um I actually didn't even <sighs> I didn't spill it I the bottle was left upside down on my carpet and it leaked so I'm really upset about it I'm trying to get rid of it I figure if I work on it a little bit every day for the rest of my life it might come out so I'm not worried about it, you know, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Until then, I'm gonna need to find some type of carpet to come in here, which I'm not going to for a long time because I'm busy as fuck. Okay, I don't know how to deal with this situation. <laughs> Hi guys, it's day three of rehearsals and I just walked in. Hi Andrew. And the first thing I did was find the guac because that's how you need to start your days. We're gonna have a competition. Um, I counted yesterday how many days it's been since I washed my hair. So we're gonna, we're gonna take guesses. How many days do you think it's been? I'm gonna say 14. How about you? Five. I Five days? Yes. You're back. so bold, the fact that you just did that. 23 in the back. I'm Ew, gonna not to smell your finger. Hey, man. Hey, man. I'm going to go with Taste 11. Your finger too? How about you? How many days? Definitely just hit the three week mark, so I'm going to go for. I'm going to agree with Jen back there, 23. How many days has it been since I washed my hair? Uh, 15. Uh, didn't you say yesterday? 23. <gasps> I tweeted it. Fuck, you saw my tweet yesterday. Oh. It has been 23 days since I've washed my hair. Oh. Ew, dude. <laughs> I didn't realize it was that long. I really didn't. I was like, oh, I'll do it around like like two and a half weeks. It's three weeks busted I by. <laughs> yeah, it's been 23 days. I don't know. Actually, I've read multiple times that the less you wash your hair, like there's people who haven't washed their hair in five years and they, they have the best hair ever. Because like shampoo is apparently a conspiracy. I use a, no, they just use water. They don't put any product in their hair. But that's the thing is I put more product in my hair. Like I use dry shampoo and hairspray and stuff. So I have to wash my hair. But these are people who don't use any products at all. This is Maya Jack's handshake. We just agreed we're gonna do the squat challenge on the road. And we shook on it and this is how we shake. Yeah, and then, Whoa. I can have the So if they're in the booth and they're facing wow. out, we should just be able to pick them up individually. We don't turn the whole booth around. We yes. should be able to individually. Yeah. Oh Morning vlog. Day is it four or three? Four. Four of rehearsals. Just got done dry heaving a little, it's fine. But look how sweet they are. Saltines, necessary. Diet ginger ale, necessary. Your bed. Very necessary. Bed. <laughs> oh my god, the sound of guac makes me want to die right now. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, um, it is really yummy, but I just like can't right now. Job. My stomach's really upset today, but uh, today's the first day of dress rehearsal. This is my Kesha shirt. Very cute. I shouldn't be giving so many spoilers. Yeah. Oops. Hi guys, this is Griffin. He saw that I was rehearsing here and he came and found me. I love you, so <laughs> I love you too. You're so cool. Please Say hi you. to Griffin, everybody. <laughs> and that was it for rehearsals. We have peanut butter on my sweatshirt. Me. <laughs> Literally me. We have one more rehearsal the day before the show. Four starts on the 30th. And if you want to come, now's super, super the time to get tickets because you won't be able to for much longer. That Griffith guy, um, he bought VIP tickets. And I'm so excited because he was so excited to meet me then. And he's also coming to meet me for the show. But I just think it's funny that he knew I was going to be at the show and he had already bought tickets to meet me at the show and he still came and found me to meet me and waited outside. I just thought that was really, really sweet. Also, Bruno Mars's people got really, really mad at me because they said that I like snuck in to try to film his rehearsals, which is not what happened. I stood outside the door outside of my rehearsal studio and said, Bruno Mars is in there. But they were like, yeah, what is she? Like a music blogger trying to expose the new tracks it was something weird i don't know i love bruno mars though i'm a huge 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 bruno mars fan i think that he's one of the most talented people of our generation he's one of the few left who sing dance play instruments genuinely amazing songwriter so 
big Bruno fan. Anyways, I'm doing my first stand-up show tonight. I'll be vlogging that, obviously, but until then, I still don't have a sign-off.